Hey you guys, how you doing? I know a lot of you don't like to hear uh, crimes against children. It makes you sick, it makes you mad, it makes you angry. I understand that, but my I'm not bringing it to you know try to highlight. I'm just bringing it for educational purposes to keep us alert and aware of the things that are going around you know us that we don't know about. So it says family of four, huh, family of four dead including two children in suspected murder-suicide. Oh, okay. So it's a murder-suicide. Uh, this computer is giving me the Mississippi blues. I always say that. See what I mean? Okay, I'm just going to go from here. I'm not going to keep playing with it. Okay, the Sandy Springs Police Department is investigating what they suspect to be a homicide involving two children and two adults. Officials were called to a home in South Sandy, Spr yeah, South Sandy Springs on reports of multiple victims that were injured. Police said a family member was stopping by to check on her son and grandkids when she found the entire family dead. Wow, that that is that. Ugh. They they even killed the kids. This is the part that gets me. You know, it's kind of hard to read this because it really is bothering me. I don't know the. I don't know how to. When I don't know how to pronounce names, I just normally stick with the first name. If it's an easy last name, then I'll read the last name. Captain Todd said when they arrived at the scene, they found four victims dead. We can't lose sight of the fact that there is a family out there suffering because they've lost four loved ones at once and they don't know why and they don't know how. So they have a lot of questions and we want to try to provide them with those answers as best we can, which is, uh, this, this is a hard story you guys. This is hard. The victims are a woman 41, a man 31, and two children that are four and two years old. The information that we have gotten was that the adult female and male in the house were supposed to be celebrating an anniversary later last night and something went wrong yesterday, said the captain, because he's a captain. Police believe this was a murder-suicide. <sighs> Sorry, you guys. It's just really sad. I remember watching the dad taking the little girls by the hand and walking over to the quick trip over here and bringing back something to drink and some candy. They seemed like a very normal couple, said a neighbor. The Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation is currently assisting with the investigation. I don't know if it's more at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and see if there's more. No, there's no more, you guys. So, this story right here is really sad. Because, like they said, it's a murder-suicide. We don't know who did it. We don't know if it was the male. We don't know if it was the female. So, you guys, um, just kind of keep this family in prayer they're not releasing names or anything like that just you know when you think about it uh just kind of they're in Tulsa so just keep the family lifted up in prayer you guys and those that are out there in families that have abuse that's ongoing right now let's stay prayerful for those family members and those people that are involved and let's pray that help will come soon you guys because it's too much violence going on right now and a lot of people are losing their lives for senseless reasons so you guys please take care of yourself be careful be vigilant make sure that you check on your loved ones if you suspect that maybe one of your loved ones your friends whoever it may be is in an abusive relationship or if they even mention it and they're telling you about it don't tell them that it's going to get better because it's not 
set, try to find the way to get them some help, you guys. Like, seriously, try to find a way to get them some help, you know, and let them understand that you love them and you're not going to, and don't speak bad against the person that they're with because if you speak bad against the person that they're with they're going to take it as a sign of saying pretty much you failed and then they're going to go back like i'll show you but you're putting that person back in harm's way so if somebody comes and confide in you with something like that do them a favor and just be a listener and help them make the appropriate moves to get to a safer place but until next time you guys hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that post notification bell so that you will be noted when i let new content go so you guys thank you again thank you thank you thank you a million times thank you and take care